Hello, how to solve root 3 plus root t is equal to 3. So, here, how to solve for all the values of t that we satisfy this given equation. So, t is equal to question mark. Now, to do this, solution, solution, the question is root 3 plus root t is equal to 3. Now, looking at this equation, since we have a square root, right we are going to eliminate the square root by squaring the both sides of the equation so that will become in bracket root 3 plus root t all squared is equal to 3 squared and from here that this resembles in the form a plus b all squared where the value of a is equal to root 3 and then the value of b is equal to root t so root t and once you have a plus b all squared, this is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So expanding root 3 plus root t all squared in this form, we are going to have it as a, which is root 3. So in brackets, root 3 all squared, then plus 2 times a, which is root 3. So root 3 times b, which is root t. So root t plus b squared, b is root t, so root t all squared, then is equal to 3 squared is 9. And from here, square cancel square root, what we have is 3 plus then 2 times root 3 times root t is 2 root 3t plus square, we cancel square root, we have t, which then equal to 9. At this junction, we are going to move t to this side and also move 3 to the other side of the equation so that we have it as we have 2 root 3t left here which equals 9 is here then move plus t then minus t then minus 3 so 2 root 3t is then equal to 9 minus 3 is 6 then minus t at this junction the next thing for us to do is to divide both sides by 2 over 2. 2 we divide 2. All we have is root 3t is equal to 6 minus t over 2. So with this, we are then going to eliminate the square root right here by squaring the both sides of the equation. So all squared. Now square will cancel square root. All we have is 3t is equal to 6 minus t over 2 all squared is simply 6 minus t over 2 multiplied by 6 minus t over 2. So that with this, what we then have is 3t is equal to 6 times 6, 36. 6 times minus t, minus 6t, minus t times 6, minus 6t, minus t times minus t is plus t squared all over 2 times 2 is 4. So from here, 3t can be written as over 1. We can then multiply. 4 times 3t is 12t, which equals 1 times this is 36. Minus 6t minus 6t is minus 12t, then plus t squared. So that with this, we can then move 12t over to this side. Here becomes 0 is equal to 36 then minus 12t, then moving this, this becomes minus 12t, then plus t squared. So that from here, we have it as 0 is equal to 36, then minus 12t minus 12t is minus 24t, then plus t squared. So let us then rearrange this. So we have it as t squared minus 24t plus 36 is equal to 0. And looking at this, what we have is a quadratic equation. And to then solve for the value of t, we're going to make use of the quadratic formula. So solving for t, solving with respect to t, the formula is given by t is equal to minus b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And in this case, the value of a in this equation is the coefficient of t squared which is 1 so a is 1 the value of b is the coefficient of t which is minus 24 so minus 24 
The value of c is the constant which is plus 36. So plus 36. So in putting the values of a, b and c into the formula, the value for t is then equal to minus b is minus 24. So minus 24 plus or minus square root b squared b is minus 24 all squared minus 4 times a is 1 times c is 36 all over 2 times a is 1. So from here, next, the value for t is then equal to minus times minus 24 is equal to plus 24 plus or minus square root of minus 24 squared is equal to 5, 7, 6 minus 4 times 1 times 36 is equal to 1, 4, 4 then all over 2, 2 times 1 is 2. So from here, right next, the value for t is then equal to 24 plus or minus square root 5, 7, 6 minus 1, 4, 4 is equal to 4, 32 then all over 2. So this is then equal to, we have 24 plus or minus, we can write root 432 as root 144 times 3, then all over 2. From here, the value of t, t is then equal to 24 plus or minus, this can be written as root 144 times root 3, then all over 2. So t is then equal to 24 plus or minus root 144 is 12, then times root 3 all over 2. So that from here, the value of t is equal to 2 divided by 24, you have 12, plus or minus 2 divided by 12, we have 6, then root 3. So with this, we have two solutions for t. So the first one, t1 is equal to 12 plus 6 root 3. And the second value for t is equal to 12 minus 6 root 3. So we've gotten the first and the second solution for t. But then let's confirm between these two solutions of t, which of them is the correct value of t that will satisfy the given equation. So let us confirm. So let's check it out. Let's check. So recall that the, that the problem was root 3 plus root t is equal to 3 and for when when t is equal to for the first value of t which you got as 12 plus 6 root 3 so when t1 is equal to 12 plus 6 root 3 and putting the value of t as 12 plus 6 root 3 into this equation so root 3 plus root t becomes 12 plus 6 root 3 with this give us 3 question mark. Now looking at this, root 3 will give us a value greater than 1. Then if you sum it up with, if you add up 12 plus 6 root 3 and then you square root the answer, you will get a value greater than 4. And if you sum up a value greater than 1 with a value greater than 4, you will not get a value that will be equal to 3. So that means that for the value of t, which is 12 plus 6 root 3, this will not satisfy the given equation. Okay, now let's also check for the other solution of t. So for t2, which equals 12 minus 6 root 3. So from here, when t2 is equal to 12 minus 6 root 3, recall the problem to be root 3 plus root t is equal to 3. So in putting the value of t as 12 minus 6 root 3, have it as root 3, then plus root t is then 12 minus 6 root 3, with this equal 3, so question mark. Now from here, let's put a question mark here, question mark is a question. So root 3, right, will give us a value that will be less than 1.6 if you to try it approximately though. Then plus, if you subtract 6 root 3 from 12 and then you square root the answer, you will get a value that will be less than 1.6. And if you add up a value that is less than 1.6 with another value that is less than 1.6, you will approximately get a value that will be approximately 3. And so from here, that means that the value of t2, which equals 12 minus 6 root 3, will satisfy the given equation. 
So with this, ladies and gentlemen, we've come to the end of the video. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to this channel. Okay, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.